And out of nowhere, the Beyond the Wire devs have announced bots. And they are here tomorrow, along with a new map. Let's talk about why this is huge. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. So, for those of you watching this that have never experienced a full 50 vs 50 Beyond the Wire server, ho 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 ho, boy are you in for a treat. This game suffers more than any from what I like to call the dead game conundrum. The game has a low player base, so everyone runs around the internet saying, don't buy it, the game has a low player base. And like the followers we all are, we listen. And the game remains to have a low player base. But I have confidence in Beyond the Wire, and I always have been. Content creators abandon it and move on to follow the trends. Why? Well, because most of them are hacks. Now, granted, their primary means of earning money is YouTube, so I get it. They gotta do what they gotta do. But I'm a carpenter, so I can keep it real with you. I always knew Beyond the Wire was eventually going to earn its at least cult following, just like Postscriptum has. Why? Because it's a great game, and until you play it and experience a 50 vs 50 full server all night slobber knocker, you'll remain in the forums bashing a game you've never played because some prepubescent waterhead told you so. Now don't get me wrong, sure, Beyond the Wire has its optimization issues, it's very early in development, if you have a low tier PC, I would recommend staying away until they really iron out the optimization. But I mean, let's look at Squad, years ago, you had to have a really good Good PC to run it. Now, that game is hella optimized. Squad, Postscriptum, Beyond the Wire, all these games built on that squad engine, for whatever reason, run really well even on the highest pings. A ping of 250, 300 feels like a ping of 150 of any other game. And you would think the contrary, because of these maps being so big, up to 4 kilometers, 8 kilometers by 8 kilometers. One of my favorite things to do in Postscriptum, or well, at least when the Aussie server is popped, I love going and playing with the Aussies. For whatever reason, they have teamwork in public servers like you would never see anywhere else. Shout out to the Aussie Rum Runner server. But I remember all the doubters, and I must admit even I was kind of one of them, when bots for Beyond the Wire just disappeared from the roadmap. Well, praise all of the gaming gods. Not only are bots coming to the game, but everyone will be able to experience full servers <laughs> starting tomorrow. This time, when the update hype dies down, there will be bots in place to keep the party going. This is freaking huge, guys. So many people have probably bought this game, saw that there was 17 people online, and returned it. Finally, we'll at least be able to jump in and experience the game. And sure, 99 bots is nowhere near as fun as 99 players, but at least they can experience all these core gameplay mechanics that make this game amazing. And why I think this is better than any World War One shooter is the way it captures the true gritty feel of the gnarliest war of all time. It has a chivalry, moored how, directional based melee system, and it is pinned up and supported by a super realistic gunplay system. For instance, when you shoot your rifle in this game, it's hyper realistic. First off, you have stamina, and it is spent even just aiming down sights. Now, that's one thing I think they should tune up a little bit, maybe ease up on that just a bit. But in general, the weapon sway is amplified higher than any other game, which makes for the melee to be more applicable. And anyone that shot a big long rifle like that knows it isn't easy. Now one thing I hope they add to the game eventually is bracing your weapon like Postscriptum has. But just know if you get the game and you're like, wow, it's so hard to shoot. I don't know if I like that. Once you realize how it all blends together with the general meta of the game and how the game works, you'll grow to love it. I think everyone at first is a little, eh. Just be ready. When your squad leader blows the whistle, fix bayonets, because you're going over the top and beyond the wire. Woo I'm as giddy as a schoolgirl. This game deserves so much more than the treatment it's been getting. And I don't want to say I told you so. Well, yeah, I'll say I told you so. The internet is a volatile place, and for whatever reason, you could be great, do great things, and still receive tremendous amounts of hate. Monday, December 5th, tomorrow, the servers shall pop.
and I'll see you boys on the battlefield. But we're not only getting bots, we're getting another map, and this time, it's one of the most well-known battles of World War I, Passchendaele. And we're talking hell on earth, man. Scorched earth. If you were a young man entering the war, this is probably one of the last places you wanted to be. The fighting went on and on and on. The front would be pushed maybe a couple hundred feet one way, only to be pushed back a couple hundred feet the other way. Like I said before, this was the most brutal war, in my opinion at least. These boys fought and died over literal feet. Meters. Poor young men dying in a rich man's war. Yeah, let's not go down that rabbit hole. Next thing you know, the video will be named War is a Racket. My channel will be demonetized as some conspiracy channel. <laughs> Anyway, in the latest dev blog, the devs shared with us just a few screens. We're going to check those out. And if you haven't already grasped it, this video is just me freaking the hell out. Totally a hype train video. But I saved some of my favorite gameplay clips for last. Especially those of you that have never played the game. These coming clips have a vulgar display of gore, to say the least as I am using none other than the grenade launcher. If you've yet to seen it, definitely check out my how to rifle grenade video. Not only is it entertaining as all hell, but I give you some exclusive tips that'll really help you blow thine enemy into smithereens. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> oh dude, I'm in the best spot right now, holy shit. I'm on the roof. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of grenade. That was fun though. I'm just doing medic shit. How's that for contact creation? What the fuck was that, dude? I am a total idiot and thought that guy was friendly. That's what happened there. <laughs> Honestly, any mill sim is the perfect game for Team Killers. Mm -hmm. to uh, M and L. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Rally up. Let's keep pushing. On, Let's go. Let's go. On me. Charge. Huzzah. Huzzah. My name is Jeff. Oh, we just won it. Nice <laughs> Good job. 
All right, all right, I promise. I'm gonna do my best to contain myself. At least long enough to get this video wrapped up. Bots, 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 bots. I'm sorry about that. So anyway, if you are new to the channel, know we give away a Steam key at the end of the week every week. Right now we're giving away Easy Red 2. It's DLC, Stalingrad, Mud and Blood, Fire and Steel, No Plan B. And I am proud to announce that we have a small handful of Beyond the Wire keys to give away. That's right, we'll be giving away one a week at the end of the week, the last video of each week, I'll announce a winner. To enter, it's super simple. Join the Boogie 5 Discord below. Of course, be subscribed to the channel, like the video, share with your people. All you gotta do is simply comment at least once a week. Within your comment, leave your Discord name and number. It's gonna work as your ticket stub. And speaking of a winner, I'm gonna butcher this name, my apologies. Ronald Dosue. Ronald Dosue? Anyway, come on down, DM me on Discord, and make your selection. If you record your gameplay of these awesome indie milsim tech shooters anything from squad war of rights to ground branch and ready or not please come through and submit your clips in the submit your clips section episode five of the top 10 mil sim moments will soon be in the works and whoever provides that first place clip wins a steam key all right everybody good luck in the giveaways i'll see you boys in the next one y'all be good to each other